Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to some more Mountain Blade to a Bannerlord. And yes, the greatest mod out there has been ahead and been reinstated. Some amazing guy has updated it. And no, I am not talking about Hot Butter, even though I know many of you guys probably regard that as the greatest mod of all time. I am talking about the RTS camera. And you might be like, Jackie, wait a minute. Hasn't a uh, realistic battle been keeping this mod updated? Well, not only has the RTS camera module been updated but also the command system that basically allows you to focus down your infantry on specific enemy groups so no longer will your cavalry charge into the enemy front lines or completely ignore the archers as they massacre your horses. So what I'm going to do in today's video is I'm going to show you the basics of the mod itself and then at the end of the video I will show you how to install it. Again it is really really simple and now 1.8 has come out of beta. I highly recommend you go ahead and start putting together a mod list. I personally will be creating a pretty large scale Eagle Rising uh, playlist which you guys are seeing me play right now. I'm going to be going ahead and really focusing in on it. So this is um, obviously the, the base mod right now. We're playing Eagle Rising in the background but the main focus is on our RTS camera. So if you guys don't know, RTS camera allows you to go ahead and zoom out, allows you to command your soldiers, uh, allows you to play as other people after death. It's a really awesome mod. I highly recommend you guys check out. Just basically, and we've always had this updated with the realistic battle mod who did an amazing job. However, my favorite part of this mod was hands down the command system, um, which basically allowed you to go ahead and tell units to focus other sections of the enemy lines. For example, in this looter battle, we'll jump into a larger battle in a second, but in this looter battle, there's only one division, so it doesn't really matter. But what I could do is I could select my infantry, hover over the looters. Let me find it. There's a, there's going to be a specific... Oh, yeah, you can just about see it. You can see they're just outlined. And if I press middle mouse button, you can see it just in the bottom left, it says charge at enemy infantry. Now, for example, if this was cavalry, if this was archers, and there was multiple different groups, you can basically specify your units to focus down them. And this infantry will just go and attack the enemy infantry. Obviously, there's no one else for them to attack, and we're just going to cut down some, uh, some looters. But it's amazing. So you can just see how it works in this basic sense of a battle. And now we're going to jump into a larger battle. You guys can see how it's going to work as we go further forward. Also, if you guys don't know the RTS camera, as well, if you press L on your keyboard, you're going to be brought with this massive screen where you can go ahead and adjust, adjust the uh, speed up and slow down. So obviously right now I'm on triple speed right now. And you can also adjust this to go down to slow motion if you want to pause it. Oh, actually goes down to zero on this. Nice. On the other one, I think it only goes down to 0 0.5. Or you can go like super slow-mo if you want to do some stuff whilst you do it and this does this slow mode does actually now work with dismemberment plus as well previously it didn't and now it does which is awesome i, I can't that i can't say how amazing that is you can also obviously configure all your keys as well if you want to change the hotkeys like i've done you can click that you can change the player formation so when you are on the uh, on the zoom out camera your 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 character will go join whatever you know, kind of division you've set it to and now we also have the command system as well, where you kind of have a few extra systems that enable attack specific formation, which is the main thing uh, that I think that most people will be using. It's amazing. So now let's jump into a large scale battle. We'll jump into like a 500 versus 500 battle, and I'll show you how this works in actual practice. And then at the end of the video, we'll dive in and we'll take a look at how to install this. Okay, so we are now in a much larger scale battle fighting against the Romans. And as you can see, I've set up my formation to kind of really complement this new RTS camera command system. So I've stuck all my like skirmisher infantry or as much skirmisher infantry as I can go ahead and uh, and give up uh, over on this left hand side. My main front line is going to be obviously mainly hoplites and more spear infantry. And then I've also broken my cavalry into two divisions. Uh, this will hopefully go ahead and give me a much easier kind of time of hunting down any more any more formations, dealing with their cavalry and pushing on. Let's go ahead and move up our formation. And again, what I can do is I can whip up into the normal RTS camera and I can start commanding from the top of the battlefield. So we'll move up there. We'll move up our archer line onto the hill. We'll move up our cavalry lines as well. So I have one line of cavalry on this left-hand side and also one line of cavalry on this right-hand side. And we'll push up and we'll, of course, use the speed up as well to help us up. Um, let's slow my riser a speed up as well. Uh, there should be. 
And we'll do the speed up as well. Wait, is the slow-mo not uh, working anymore? Okay, maybe it doesn't work anymore. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, so we'll move up our left-hand side. We'll move up our flank. The nice thing about this as well is that this infantry on my left-hand side will really help out in the uh, cavalry fight as well. So not only will they help out with that, they'll also kind of help push up and deal with the other stuff. So as our infantry line continues to push up, it's going to be a much a useful kind of way. They're actually already engaging our cavalry on the right-hand side. So what I can do is I can tell them to, to deal with that. And now I've given them the order just to help out. It's a shame they charged me on the exact flank. I didn't really want them to charge me, but I guess that's just the AI being a little bit smart. Let's get our shield wall, continue to push up this battle line, get our, our, our archers up here as well. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, just pressing all the buttons. Normally, the cavalry are on the, uh, the wrong setup, but we'll keep on pushing up there. And we also have this cavalry as well that can push up on the other flank. So as you can see over here, the cavalry is just engaging bears. Normally, if you tell them to charge, they'll like fanny around and then they'll end up charging into the enemy front line of Romans uh, and trying to deal with them or just doing something stupid that you don't want them to do. Whereas this way, you can just give them the command that they're dealing with that cavalry on that flank. They're fighting. We're, we're losing pretty heavily, um, but we don't need to care about too much about that. And we can just continue to push up on this side using our infantry reinforcements very, very effectively. And we'll also keep the archers up. I'm actually going to push the archers up on this hill. So you can already see, just even without the command system, like the, uh, the RTS camera in general is just awesome for these larger scale battles. I know a lot of people, oh god, I'm, I'm leaving the battlefield. Why am I leaving the battlefield? God damn it. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. Again, this is probably because I've got this set up as well. Um, whereas I'd want to set my, my person to the, the formation so that this way they'll go and join me infantry or something whenever I'm on this RTS camera, instead of running off into the, the, the abyss right there. Uh, what I could do as well, if I was still up here, I could also uh, tell these guys to go help out with the cavalry fight. Uh, one thing I really wish Bannerlord did in general is I really wish, wish the game gave us more options uh, with regards to, um, with regards to uh, like, creating formations on the fly. At the moment, what you have to do, if you want to go ahead and like select units or, or create formations on the fly, you have to do this. Then you have to go into the toggle. Then you have to go into transfer. And it's just a real big mess. It'd be nice if I could just like click this and then it would drop down with like a, a bar and I could like make like a, a scaling bar and I could just click that and then drag into a new formation or something. And then it would sort it out. That'd make this way easier than what it is currently um, in, in the setup, which is just kind of annoying. So let's move up now as the cavalry continue to fight. I want to see our cavalry he's not doing a bad job uh, and then we'll then we will engage the also do which again you wouldn't be able to do normally is what if i wanted to i could go ahead and send this cavalry on my left hand side to go help out again normally you just probably like drag them over here like this you'd probably come over you would drag and drop them here so then they'd start making their way over and then you tell them to charge and then some would fight here and some would charge off whereas now i can just basically send them over here and, and then go ahead and give the order to engage this cavalry force if i wanted to do that which again is another great way to utilize this but now let's move up and I'll, I'll, I'll do kind of show you guys a little bit more about how you know how much better this mod is so there we go we've got a unit of their cavalry charging me so what i can do is i can go ahead and tell them to charge in and i also have this other extra infantry blob as well i can tell them to move in the archers are moving up so let's go ahead and get them into a, a square formation that's going to give them much better anti-cavalry capabilities and then we can dive in and take a look at this the infantry actually should be helping out so let's make sure we've set that to this uh, right here. There you go. Imshi are now charging the cavalry. So now they should break off and help out a lot more uh, right there. Yeah, yeah, they're charging. Cool set to charge, uh, which is good. And they'll be kind of scaring them off. And you can see the cavalry is, you know, is pushing on. Uh, I am also uh, already dead, which is fine as the infantry continues to push up. We'll continue to push up this main infantry line. The archers are, don't know, yeah, no longer have to be in that. Our cavalry on the other flank are still engaging. God damn, uh, that is taking a while. And then these guys should be helping out here. Uh, if we set, set them into a more of a looser formation, that should be a much better way of them to deal with that. And then, yeah, they'll, they'll move in here and they'll basically go ahead and charge these guys. Uh, for some reason, they think that, oh, it's probably trying to charge this little squadron back here, which is which is set in, which I guess makes sense uh, a little bit. And the archers with the rest of the infantry should do fine here. We'll set the, uh, the cavalry here. One of the only downsides to this is that you can't set the uh, the archers to, like, volley in. There's no way of, like, specific, like specifying the archers just to shoot anything, which again can be a little bit annoying um, for sure. So the Salbar Infantry, our main front line is about to engage uh, and then you guys can see kind of the awesomeness of this really unfold. 
Okay, so the battle has now begun. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our infantry to push forward and engage their front line. Then we're going to take our second line of infantry and we're going to push it around. And we're basically going to just focus down their missiles. Same with my cavalry. I'm going to say screw the air cavalry and I'm just going to push them in as best as I can. And here we go, pushing up and engaging the Roman dog. So they will just go ahead and engage. They'll ignore the cavalry sometimes as well. When you do like do give this charge command, what will happen is you'll give the charge command and then they'll just go chasing off other guys. Well, it seems like the AI has actually broken off here a little bit uh, some of their soldiers so I guess we'll go ahead and engage them a little bit engage on the flank annoyingly I'd like to go after the uh, the archers but you can see all my cavalry now are, are, are charging through they're bypassing the enemy lines and they're going directly for the enemy missiles and they will just focus these guys down they'll circle they'll engage and they'll deal with these guys so again this is a much better way of, of dealing with enemy cavalry instead of normally what happens is they'll charge off and then they'll just charge back into the infantry line they'll get slaughtered you can see our little blobs of infantry fighting off as well uh, which is really really cool to see the main battle line looking great uh, and I wish there was like a control mechanic where I could just like press control and maybe select some units and stick them in a separate group uh, which would be really really cool uh, but yeah our cavalry will roam around again you can see them in something like shield wall a little tip shield wall and charging cavalry is actually uh, charging enemy lines is really really useful again our missiles are getting cut down by the enemy cavalry who are, who are basically un uncontested um, but yeah this is a great way of, of just basically setting up your line to then deal with the enemy missile line uh, really effectively uh, and just basically just taking them down um, again, the Romans actually did a really good job of, of stopping me in this one. They some for some reason attached some infantry. I've never seen the AI do that, but they have in this one, uh, which is quite funny. Uh, uh, but normally, I could just have taken a, a wider breath uh, of my attack, and it would have been fine. Uh, now I can just kind of start having some fun here, cutting down the enemy line and leading them. Yeah, Romans are actually smashing me in this one, uh, which is, yeah, pretty hilarious. But you guys can see how the command system can be awesome. And again, I could do this with on either flank as well if I wanted to. I could set my line up. Uh, again, something I could do mid-battle if we really want to get technical is I could go F5. I could select a new group. I could do this, uh, select off that, and then select the new group of infantry, bring them out uh, like so. So we could just bring them out of the battle line. Obviously, it's, we're going to lose, take some casualties if we bring them out, but that should be fine. Uh, I could take them out. And again, if you know, mid battle, do this again using mods like RT, uh, realistic battle mod as well is a great way of doing this as well because the battles are generally slower. And you can see because they've detached soldiers over on this side, we can break some soldiers away uh, and then charge them in uh, right now, bring them up here really quickly you know, kind of detached from mid-battle and like stuff like this. It, this is like how this is like takes battle, battle Lord battles to the next level. It really does. Like it's kind of crazy when I give them the order to charge and now they're just going to focus down the enemy. They should just be focusing down the enemy missiles. They should be. I don't exactly know why they're not. Okay, you guys charge that. There's some missile. There must be some missiles stuck in this group or something. Uh, but as you can see, the majority of them are just going to be moving forward and engaging the enemy missile lines. Uh, yeah, it, it's just so like, look at that. Like, all of a sudden, we've done probably more tactical maneuvering than the average Bannerlord player has ever done in his entirety, uh, his entire playthrough of, of playing Bannerlord. It's kind of crazy, right? And right now, we're just scaring up the enemy missile line. Uh, which is so cool. Now all we need is a mob that brings back the ability to create your own custom groups. And, and yeah, you can start having some really tactical and fun-filled battles, especially with mods, as I said, like Realistic Battle, where you can go ahead, you know, the battles last longer. They just generally are a much more um, lengthy engagement. So you can kind of perform more of these awesome military performances and, and strategies. And it's really fun. Like right now, look at this. I'm completely throwing off their missile line. Uh, cutting down, like cutting down their missiles, which is so awesome. Now I could bring these guys back if I wanted to. And it's just a really, really good way of setting the game up. So yes, go download, go download the RTS camera mod. It is a must use, especially with the brand new command system. Uh, and now what we'll do is we'll dive in and I'll show you guys exactly how to get this mod installed and ready to be played. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to go onto your Steam. You're going to want to go ahead and right-click your properties, and you're going to want to make sure that you opt out of all betas. The current version of the game is 1.8. It recently came out of beta, so you're going to want to make sure that you are on the non. Uh, this will give you the more stable version. There's currently a bug with the other betas, which just like caused them to crash. There are some fixes um, that I post on my community page if you want to check them out. Uh, but yeah, make sure you go here and click none. Also, if you've had a heavily modded game previously and you want 
wanted just a fresh install, make sure you go ahead and click verify integrity of game files. That will go ahead and give you a clean sheet. Won't delete any of your mods that are massively that overwrite vanilla files or that don't overwrite vanilla files. It will just give you a clean sheet on the vanilla files. Uh, but any other external mods should be absolutely fine. Once you've gone ahead and got that, you're going to want to go over to Nexus Mods and download the RTS camera updated. I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. Uh, and then you're going to want to go to Files and you're going to download both the command system for 1.8 and also the RTS camera for Bannerlord. Uh, both of these are great. Again, there is a 1.7.1 version, but again, I've been told but the previous betas if you opt into these older versions of the game uh, are, are currently crashing quite heavily so yeah just download 1.8 make sure you're on none and you should be absolutely fine once you've got them downloaded, you're going to, want to go ahead and right click on your banner log, go down to uh, manage and go browse local files. This will take you to where you need to be. And this is where you install the mods. It's a quick and easy way to get there. Then you're going to want to go into your module folder, obviously open up your RTS cameras uh, with uh, WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever unpacker you use. And you simply just select both of them, um, drag and drop in. And again, this should not come up with this. It should just go ahead and install them. But obviously I've already got them installed. So it will ask me to replace these obviously for you it shouldn't if it does make sure you delete all previous files and then you're good to go turn them on in your in your mod launchers and when you open battle lord then you should just be able to uh, click on this uh, and then go to mods and then just find down to where your mods are set up and then just click them and turn them on and you will not regret it so if you guys enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and a comment down below i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one